There's my cat over there scoping out the uh, the woodshed. I think she's found a field mice or a field mice nest over there, and she's uh, and she's interested in what's happening. Let me show you what I'm up to today. Earlier today, I went over to Cherry City Salvage in Salem. I had to go into town to fill some scripts at the pharmacy, so I thought, what the hey, as long as I'm there. Well, I bought some aluminum uh, rolls, or a pipe, or I guess shaft, I guess you'd call it, which wasn't too expensive at uh, there. But while I was there, I bought this. Let me show you. This is a 31 inch by 24 inch, I think it's a quarter inch steel, or no, eighth inch steel plate. It's, uh, that's probably quarter inch. It weighs a bloody ton. What am I planning on doing with that? Well, let me show you. This is a table I bought at Goodwill for one dollar. It's out of a school. It's built like a like a tank. See the legs on this thing? I mean, this this was designed to stand up to elementary school kids. Uh, back when they actually designed things to stand up to elementary school kids, you can see that it's uh, rather heavy-duty metal legs, and it's a metal frame. The whole thing is on with this rather thick wooden uh, top. Well, as you can see, I've been using it to just stack stuff on. Well, here's my plan. This is like a hillbilly welding table. Put this on top of here, drill holes for all of these holes that are in it, just so that I have both one holes for uh, mounting uh, fixtures in and holes to bolt it to the table with. Do the holes through the table so the fixtures have a good solid place to hang. I'm gonna put this, since it's about 31 inches long, and since this is about 23 inches wide, I'll put it on this side of the table. Leave that side bare. I can use that to hold stuff. And I'm gonna take this whole arrangement, move it over here where this thing is, move this, uh, wait a minute. No, move that, yeah, move that's over here. Move this thing over there, get rid of this table. One of the problems I have though is I need to keep a bucket right here because I've got a leak. See that little hole in the ceiling there? It leaks. So uh, that's one of the reasons of keeping it bare on the other side. I can have it poke over just a little bit and have that thing sit on it. The other alternative is to roll my old barbecue cart, which now has a uh, flat top and a well, at the moment, a mini lathe sitting on it, and roll it over and sit it over there. Anyway, that's my plan to build a hillbilly welding table. See, right now, what I've got for a welding table is this old junk craftsman uh, saw. The saw part is completely trashed. It doesn't work. But this thing was built really, really secure. And I've got a, it set over here next to my... Uh, well, this is just an, a Lincoln tombstone, AC only. But hell, it's a, it's a good welder. And I've got, as you can see, I've got plenty of uh, welding sticks, uh, you know, 6011, uh, 7018, all the usual suspects. Uh, and, you know, I, I have uh, some tools, I have, uh, you know, a few masks. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not good at welding. I'm actually lousy at welding, but every now and then you got to weld. So I might as well build a place to fabricate, and that's the idea. And I've got these two, ta each of these tables cost me $1. I bought tables, and I also bought oak desks over there. Same price. You know, the, the thing is, is that old school tables and old oak desks don't seem to be worth much of anything anymore. So. But anyway, as you can see, this is completely covered with crap, with crap underneath it. It's just, it's a mess over here. It's the middle of winter, so part of this might be a spring project. Uh, but I just, I cleaned out some of the toolboxes. I used to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight semi-filled up or not filled up toolboxes under here. I still got one left. Um, but uh, 
I, I need to clean all of this stuff off so I can move things around. And I think I need better weather so I can haul some of it outside. Oh well, this is what I'll be doing uh, bit by bit, slowly but surely.